I have you now. Hello, we're back again. Once again, I'm back again. I used to be a singer. In no way at all. We are back again though. Now we said that we was going to do a review, possibly one a day, the way we were cracking through at the start of the year. And then we've had this massive gap. And the reason is, they just don't bring enough tech out in between. Why ever not? But anyway, forget that. They've started to bring some out and they're going to bang a couple out now. But I'm going to start with my favourite thing because I'm a big fan of security. Real big fan. I've got security cameras all around my house. I've got alarms and internal cameras, internal external lights that come on, motion detection. Love it. But what if someone gets in? What if they want to mix it up with you? Well, that's good. Because I've got this. I don't recommend you hit anybody with this. This has got an aerospace aluminium alloy and it's quite hefty and I think it'll probably hurt. Used a little loop as well to stop me from dropping it. Boof! Um, the reason I'm doing this is for, well, there's two reasons I'm doing this actually, not the reason, there's two reasons. One is it's awesome. It's small, it's compact, you can keep it by your bed. Now, I'm not saying you use this as a deterrent if someone breaks in your house. No, definitely not. Because if you attack someone with this and they get it off you, they're likely to use it on you. If someone, if you hear someone break in your house, don't reach for this first. You call the police first, okay? Let's make that absolutely clear. This is not gonna save you. This might, if, well, if there's two or three of them, how, how long do you think you're gonna survive with just this in your hand? But, having said that, this will make you feel a bit more secure and it might buy you some time. You call the police and then if you feel like investigating what's going on in your house, go and investigate. If you don't, fine, stay in your bedroom, keep the door locked, keep this close to hand. This will definitely buy you some time. Someone comes rushing at me and they've broken into my house and I'm flailing this around, they're not going to come within a certain distance. There's two or three of them that they're going to have to get around me and... You know, all this is buying seconds for the police force to get to, to help you. But still, this isn't its only function. It's not just an aluminium baseball bat. This is also a torch. So, it's good torch as well. So if you was think you were being broken into but you weren't sure, you can go downstairs, use the torch, have a look around. If you surprise someone who's actually committing a crime, a felony, bosh, do not hit them on the head. Ask them to leave. Threaten to hit them on the head, but don't actually do it because this will hurt. And depending on what country you're in, the laws are different. You are allowed to defend yourself with reasonable force in Great Britain. And where they say reasonable force, it means if you hit someone on the head and they fall over, fine. But if you hit them and, and then they get up and leave, if you hit them on the head so hard that you kill them, that's probably not reasonable force, that's excessive force. If you hit someone with this and they leave, let them go. Don't chase them down the street with it. Once they're out, they're out. Lock your doors. Make sure the police are called. Let the forensics do their bit. Take their fingerprints, etc. Don't go chasing people with this. It's reasonable for us. You can't knock them to the ground and then while they're on the ground, just keep bashing at them. It's not really nice, not really fair, and it doesn't sound very human to me. So keep that in mind. Now the torch. Three modes. There's high, high intensity mode. That was easy for me to say, wasn't it? High intensity mode. Low intensity mode and SOS mode, which is like a flash, pop, 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 pop. Um, I don't know how well you're gonna see them in here, but let's start with the first one. You press the button on the end once. That is probably high intensity mode. Press it again, and it's probably gone off. Press it again, on, off, on, and flash mode. Um, I don't know if you're getting that. You should be getting it, because it's quite bright and off. So hopefully you've got all three modes there, I don't know if you did, but they, there are three modes. Um, these are coming out, I think I read that they depend on who you buy it from. See, so yeah, I got mine from Xin Yu, which is obviously a Chinese company, but I got it from Amazon, and Amazon do lots of them, I'm going to put a link down below. Um, the Xin Yu ones, they take three AAA, uh, AA batteries, and they just unscrew but they don't unscrew, this unscrews, and they pop in the end, here. Uh, I don't know what it is in any other country. In the UK, that is called a double A battery. Got it written on the side. This happens to be a zinc chloride one, but don't let that bother you. Oh, I'll get that later. So, you put your batteries in, you screw your hand along, 
and you are ready to go. Low intensity, high intensity, and flash, SOS. I'm not sure where you'd use this. I mean, if you had the torch in your car and your car breaks down on a country road, you could put this on the back seat, flashing out the back window, constantly flickering like that. Any car speeding around corners and that are gonna see it and yeah, there's a chance that it'll avoid colliding with you and your car. Um, so as I was saying, depending on the model you get, depends on the brightness of the LEDs. This particular model is 2000 lumens, which is very bright, but you can get as low as 450 lumens. So it, it, there's a variance in between, depending on who you buy from. In the description on Amazon on each one, there is, a, it's gonna tell you what it does. I think the 450 lumen ones do anything up to six to eight hours of constant, constantly being on. So if you have parked your car somewhere and you're having it flashing out with it, you're six to eight hours, that's not too bad. The 2000 lumens, probably less, a lot less. I mean, I've uh, not tested it, but I think this is four hours, which is good enough, because I'm only gonna keep it in the house. If someone breaks in my house, I don't need four hours to look around my house. I live in a tiny little house, I don't earn a lot of money. And it's you lot are gonna give me some. So I just, on and off, walk around, look around. I mean, I do have electric lights in my house, so normally if I think I'll hear a break in, I'll pick the bad boy up. I may go and have a little spook around with the torch, but more than likely just gonna flick the light on, the main light on, and anyone who's down is just gonna bolt. And that's good enough for me, let them go. Let them have a little run off. But if you're in a power cut, or they cut your power, didn't think of that one, did I? You've got a torch with a bright light, and you know, as I said before, this is aerospace alloy, aerospace aluminium alloy, and it's heavy. It, it's not going to be pretty if you get struck with it, which is why I'm saying, don't forget what I said about reasonable force. I think you should probably change that law to minimum force. In other words, just enough to incapacitate the assailant and then call the police. Has a, um, I don't know what you call it, it's a non slip handle? I don't really know. It's a grip handle. It's, it's, good, it's a good handle, don't get me wrong, and it's it's strong, it is strong. Um, the other things that are good about this is it only weighs 350 grams. Yeah, all that heaviness and strength in 350 grams. You can't really complain with that, can you? Um, there will be a link below. Do think about uh, purchasing one, they're not expensive, 22 English pounds. I'm not sure that equates in uh, American dollars or wherever else you are, Australian dollars, but 22 English pounds is reasonable for a little bit of protection in your house. Now, I, I, I can hear you, I can hear you from here, all them people out there with them mag light torches, the big heavy ones, that you put the great big thick batches in and when you shine it, it you don't need to chase the assailant, assailant to hit them, you can probably just blind them with your light. Um, yes, they're chunkier, they're heavier, they're probably sturdier, but you can't wield it like a bat like this. This, this. this says get away. The other thing is, they're not 22 pounds. They're a lot more than 22 pounds. So, uh, give me your comments. I don't get many comments, I guess. That's a good thing, right? I mean, most of the comments seem to be about my accent, which is a bit weird, but um, give me some comments below. Tell me what you think, tell me if you bought one, tell me if you like it, tell me an alternative. Because if it's a good alternative, tell me why your alternative is better, and I'll buy one and review it, because that's what I do, review stuff. Let me know, we're we'll looking forward to seeing you in the next video, where I think I'm going to do the Osmo 2. I didn't even know it was going to rhyme, it's just naturally good like that. Stay young.